Hello everybody and welcome once again to Galactic Science 2. In the last episode we sort of started to show the factory and I said I was going to show you do some more work this time to make some creative flight. I think I said that. So let's get on and do that. I'm actually making these two, two episodes back to back. We'll also go and have a look at how the sla uh, scraps getting on. I haven't got any more Yui matter because we really need to finish that quest. Let's have a look at that. I think that's over here. It's actually quite hard to steer yourself around as we're doing this. So we've got 10 scrap, 10 to you matter from all this scrap. So that will be going down very fast. But it, we should get at least a stack on it, or three stacks, I hope. It's about 1 million per stack. We've got 4 million. This I didn't tell you too much about, but I will, I will put a link to about clock circuits, the Minecraft clock circuits, if anybody ever needs to set up something similar. So today what I wanted to do was unstable ingots, unstable nuggets. So let's have a look at that. It's actually a craftable recipe. I didn't know that, but I asked in Discord and somebody told me it's a craftable recipe. Well, I actually raised an issue saying I can't repeat the quest for the unstable ingot. So actually, let's have a look at that. Uh, quests. So this is part of crystallize. And the unstable in, in isn't re repeatable. I thought it should be because of the way it works. And all the other ones which are in blue are repeatable. So the ones which are green aren't. So I haven't done too much knowledge. And I want to do this bleep one because I think that's going to be quite important. The rest of them, this one I can't do yet. It still hasn't got a, <laughs> still hasn't got a prize for that one. I'm sure he knows about that. And all the glory, I'm not even going to bother doing that one. That's the point. <laughs> so, right, let's have a look at that. We want to get the recipe for ingots. Some shooting going on in the background now. I really want to move that. Probably fill in the base underneath it as well. So let's have a look. On semi stable nuggets. So we've got semi. We've got semi stable nuggets, of course, this is a tiny nugget. Enough to contain the powerful energy produced by dividing it by a diamond, which you can't do. You can use these in the crafting table to make a stable, unstable ingot that will not explode. So what we need is kit. Now kit, K-I-T, or I think its real name is Nolanat, is got a, a number of 693. So let's go and have a look at that. So basically it's just a crafting of kit. Now 693 is actually... It was a tricky number. It took me a while to figure it out. So let's have a look at what we can do for at mine chem. Here we go to the next page. And this is where we get these items. So we've got here XXXX, which is 6138. Six now, that does not divide by 6... 693 does not divide by this, or oh, sorry, this does not by, divide by 693. The next one here is Duncan Ellen. Actually, that's after me. I'll tell you why, and a little bit of history. On the Discord channel, Caitlin asked what, just asked three people to write a message in his, um, in one particular channel for the, what's her name? Lindsay Sterling. So you just write your name, and then he created three three minerals. So this one was Sunsariorum, I can't pronounce it properly, and Tordanium, and these are different people. Chesteril, they've obviously got some use later on, but at the moment there's no use of those. But what we need to make is kit, which is this one here, none of that. So half of none of that we can't do because it divides by three. So we can do it by three, so that would then be two, three, one would be a third of that so or three nine six actually what it is in fact is three nine six plus ninety nine will give you the numbers so we need to basically start with this one so 198 times 2 is 396 396 plus 99 is 459 plus 199 198 will give us this I think that's the way it works We'll see in a second anyway. 693. So 99 happens to be a well-known material. Einsteinium. Einsteinium is the main 
uh, one of the main components of ender pearls in mind chem that is so we look at the ender pearls in here or well, let's look at the uses of this one for example here all right you can turn it to a liquid and here we can do some enderium in it obviously that's ender pearl stuff and this is where we make the Einsteinium. so we can actually use Einsteinium to make ender pearls and we're with calcium carbonate now i thought calcium was quite difficult the only way to make calcium is with mine chem and it's actually got a periodic table number of 20. Now 20 happens to be dead easy because 20 is magnesium, wherever it's gone to, which is 12 plus oxygen. So there's magnesium plus oxygen, which is eight, gives you 20, which is the calculation for the calcium. So that's fairly straightforward. But anyway, we're not going to do that. All we need to do is make the Einsteinium. So to make Einsteinium, I prepared this. There seems to be two sensible recipes. So we'll take this one. This is lead, aluminium, and oxygen. And I think I have to do... We'll put those two together first of all. Put the lead and we'll put the aluminium together. Lead and aluminium. And that's making this one here. Slightly radioactive, 95. So we're now for, we're short of four. So four is half oxygen. So we can take that out of there like that. We can come over here to the fission chamber and put the oxygen in there. And that will give me 64 beryllium. So 64 beryllium plus the four, which is basically a four, will now give us some Einsteinium. Like that. It uses a lot of power, by the way. So you've got to have a good power supply. But power's no problem because I'm cheating that in. And we're going to put that into this chest over here. I think this one will do. Nope, that's got plenty of Einsteinium in it already. As you can see, I was playing with that. I'll put it in here to here. Actually, as you can see in here, I've already got some stuff prepared. So let's have a look at do, carrying on with this one. <clears throat> so the next way of making it was to use some tin, which is pretty cheap. Some silver, which is fairly cheap. And some helium, which is just basically two hydrogen synthesized together. So we can put that into here like this. So we can put tin and silver, and that gives us berkelium or berkelium. <laughs> and we'll put that with some helium, we'll sure get some more Einsteinium. So basically, materials producing the Einsteinium. Now, two Einsteinium, let's do that like that, split that into two. Actually, I've got to split this into five, I think, seven. That makes sense. That's eight. That doesn't make sense, does it? Oh, it doesn't do exactly. Oh, of course, I've split those up now, so they won't go back into the chest. Okay, we'll do fix that in straight away. Come back over here. So I need. That'll make this Emerium. So we need at least double that, I think. I've got one over, that's the problem. Yep. So what we need to do, so we mix these two together like this, and this will give us some ray tackle, which is 396. 396 plus this will give us Afshinium, which is 495. So 495 plus I'll just have to do it like this. So we've got Emerium plus Afshinium gives us kit. So we've got nine kit, which is actually what we need with one nugget's worth. So let's go and take that over here. Put the Einsteinium in this chest. And then we can synthesize this. It's got, wow, uh, what's that one? Just take the book out of here. Let's just synthesize this one like that. Oops, it's got only one one in there, don't I? Click that off. Right, click it in like that. So we have some semi-stable nug nuggets. I'll not do all of those. Probably has actually. No, it's only got two. Ah, uh, probably power. 
needs energy. Ah, it's, it's, uh, it's going to take a while to fill this thing up. Right, okay. For I need to connect a synthesizer to something a little bit faster, don't I? So we don't have to wait for this thing to charge up. So there we have that. In fact, we'll go and put that into a book straight away. So let's come over here and put this into a book. So we have the book. I don't really need it in the book, but it, it doesn't do any harm, does it? So we've got this book now with the emerald in it, but it's actually got the last thing in it now. We semicircle nuggets. So let's book let's just select the semi stone nugget in here and then put it back into there so now we can go and cast that this is very this is where the light gets really tricky so all we need to do to make an ingot is go like this oops has that not worked like that I thought it was working let me have a look. Usage. Magna Crucible. Uh-huh. Oh, do I have to smelt it and then put it into this? This is a bit awkward. So look. Usage of that one. And then stable inglet block. Hopefully that's not the recipe I can. Hopefully I can cast it into a... I can't. What about this one? Usage. Well, that seems to be a bit awkward. I don't think that's working correctly. Because I'm pretty sure if you've got nine of these, you should be able to make a, some wings. Because uh, it said so. Let me just check the unstable ingots in here as a recipe. This one, semi-stable ingot. Should be all converted. <laughs> yep. And this one, are you brave enough? Well, that's a bit of a problem. Okay, it doesn't seem to be working. I suspected it. it's supposed to work. I'm pretty certain it should do in vanilla anyway, or in not vanilla. With just extra utilities in it to make that. Hmm. And you can't cast it into an ingot, which is a shame. Okay, well I'm stuck on that one. I wanted to make the wing the wings. Because if we look at the wing recipe. Um what's the best way to do that? I think the wings, aren't they? Yes, here we go. You basically need two unstable ingots. Another starch, no problem, and some glass. And some gold around it, like that. Or whatever. That one is different. So different patterns have different colours. Basically, it's just the one at the top here that actually makes the wing bit. So, But we do need the second ingot. Okay. So that's... Not helpful. <laughs> So that's another bug. All right, I shall have to report that one. And let's put those unstable ingots somewhere safe. I shall put them in this chest here. Actually, this isn't connected to the network, is it? So that's a bit of a shame. You see, I've got the stable here that I got from the um, reward. And I've also got some broken spawners. What we could do today now, since this doesn't work for me, let's go and let's go to Mars. Because on Mars, I found a few dungeons. And I would like to show you those. They're a bit more fun than the normal dun dungeons. So I've got my wave and stuff in here. I'm just wondering if I need to do anything else. So let's just... I can't think of anything else at the moment. Let's go to the Mars base. And it looks like it's night time because there are a lot of mobs around. 
but as it happens I don't really care at the moment so let's just break that one oops broke up too much though didn't I let's move that out of the way put the cobblestone back in here under the doorway and put another one down like that so now as you can see let me see if I can find the marker J quarry the dungeon just over there and there's a dungeon just over there exactly behind me let's go back that way let's get the glider activated and go and fly now I do remember it's actually along here and to the right should put, go and find the clock shouldn't I these mobs really don't they really aren't a problem at the moment either With the waving armor on, and they're just not a threat. So we got over here. And I think the first dungeon is over here. Let me just press J again and just check it. Yes, I'm coming to it. Dungeon. I did also find a dungeon on Venus, a proper a proper du dungeon on Venus. There we go. And that's what they look like. As you can look down at it, you see a little green cross at the bottom, and that's what they, how they are. So let me just get my <laughs> spider tracking me. You can hear them going bang bang on you as they hit you on the thing. But it's not much of a problem. Not much of a, a problem. One hit and you've got them. Everybody actually, except for the ones with armor on, they can be a little bit more tricky. So let's go down here. Turn the glider off. Now we've got some mobs down here, of course. So I'll put some torches on those, like that. Obviously I've not been here before. Like that, and then we can break off these spiders. Spider webs, that is. And we go down here, so let's get the... Another one, oh yeah. I'll kill this one. Get, yeah. oops, broke that light. Right, it's gone now. Oh, I have some endless. Oh, I didn't show you the endless seeds I put collected last time, so I'll take those. Fortunately, that doesn't work anymore, which is a bit of a shame. I'm, I think that's a bit of a shame that he has turned off the compression of the iridium because it was an easy way to get iridium, or well, easy. Well, it's not that easy, is it? So let's just get out of the bag here. Let's remove that one, and I want a, the ender pouch. Here we go. So let's take this ender pouch like that, and let's just put into this stuff that we don't want. Somebody shooting at me again. There we go. Actually, we'll do keep this down here. <laughs> so funny. Doesn't affect you at all, does it? So that's no big deal. Take the end of the loose seed. I've got some dark steel, not very important, and the rest of these don't care about really, they're just to do with open turrets. Let's get rid of those guys. Put that down there like that. Uh, I've got caught in a spider cobweb, just get rid of that. Put the torch down on that one. So I've also got some stuff floating around, let's get rid of what we got. Got a bow and some hearts. Actually we'll put those we'll send those back as well for that matter. Don't need that. I'll sort that out, we don't need those. Okay, that'll do fine. Ice? I've never seen an ice drop from a mob before. Quite a few heads and things like that. Well, I was saying it's a shame because it's quite a fun way of doing that. It's quite a fun way of um, passing the time when you're waiting to, for these things to cook, as it were, to be able to get the iridium this way. 
So I say it's a bit of a shame we got rid of it. I think we're getting towards the master chamber. Not yet, huh? Concentrating a little bit. That's fast enough to get rid of him, that's good. Another spider somewhere. Can hear it. Put that another torch. Where is he? Is he hiding somewhere behind, above? Not that it matters very much. Right, let's carry on. Another room. Some more. Huh. Too slow that time. Right, here we go. So this is very much creeper orientated. Oh, I was telling you I found this uh, a proper a proper Venus dungeon, but Venus dungeons don't actually exist in this in this version of a uh, thing. It doesn't. All you get is pig based. Uh, another one. Where did he come from? Right, you only get pig pig spawners. Oops, what did I press that one for? Oh. I didn't expect that to happen. Must have used the wrong thing. Let's just check that out of the way. Oh, there's a spider around. That's unusual too. Let's just fill this up. At least you can see there's a dungeon underneath us. Now we have to get rid of this stuff that we've got in here. We haven't got any more ice. That was a really strange drop. Is there anything else in here that I don't? I'm getting torches. That was the clock I wanted, wasn't it? Okay. Next level. Let's carry on. Huh? Strange. Oh, there's a spider. What I should do is move these two around like this, shouldn't I? Because it's easier then. Oops. One. That was wrong. Good thing I've got almost complete protection, otherwise I'd be in trouble, wouldn't I? Right. So let's just carry on through these. It's quite a big one, this one. I don't expect them to be as quite as large as this, normally. Oh, you got me. Not very hard, though. A few spiders in this one. Hmm. Right, sorry, being quiet again, never mind. Right, there we go. So, so very big dungeon this one. I've been through a few, but not all right, here we are. Now here's the last place. The room. When we appear, we get the creeper, uh, the creeper boss. What we have to do with the creeper boss is we have to basically bash everything back at him. So let's go into here. There he is. Now he's going to throw a TNT at me. If I can bash it, I can't hit him. I can, <laughs> but I can bash him back at him. But I probably have to be a bit further away. Was that just exploding? There are a few goofs, you get creepers flying as well. But I'm not doing very well with this one. I'll just try this one. Why is it blowing up before I get there? Let's see if I can beat him up a bit. Push him back like that. It doesn't really do much harm. But, but the TNT does, you see? Now you get back here. Just basically spam click it one time. Now every time he goes down a, th a third, he loses a head. Oops. I was in a better position a minute ago, wasn't I? Basically spam click it. I 
I'll just check my stuff and my health's pretty good. As you can see, she'd go lose in the second head now. Now he goes to his evol evolved state. It's just the same thing. Keep it in him back until he get until he blows up. It's nearly gone. Last one. Right now, he spins around, headless, and drops the key. Probably gives me a load of experience. reasonable amount of XP and these little ones down here which you didn't see are baby skeletons so let's go down here and we should find the room which always reasonably well lit up so let's just put there's the key so let's put uh, we always get the yellow heart of course that's the other thing we get no use to us because we can't do anything with them as far as I can see so I want to move that let's open open the chest wrong one let's try again when you open this chest, what you're expecting to get is a, a NASA but automatic cargo rocket. Now that's actually how the, the game goes. See, what you need to find is, a, is one with a tier 3. And we've got plenty of... I think the zombies are not in here. We've got plenty of ones. 25 iridium shards, 4 more. Um, and and the and the and the seeds. We take the, that would get take the magic mirror. It's what you'd normally use, wouldn't you? So I don't want to put that in there. I'll put some of the other stuff back. So you'd have to go around till you find the right place. Or the right um what I'm trying to say. Let's get rid of the rest of this. I don't care about those music disc. I don't think I've got any use for that. So that's it. For the for the quarry. Oof. So we just go back now the way we came and you'll see my sword is actually almost broken from all of that uh, fighting but of course as soon as we get back to base which of course we can do the quick way simply right hold this down and go back to base it'll charge up straight away as you can see all the power has been restored and the, and the sword will be 100% in a few seconds there we go, slow, slowly. Well, and then we come back to this place. So what we could have done before um, with the iridium shards, we could make iridium ore. And the way you did it, oh, I've got too much stuff in here. I have not done this, put some, get rid of some of this rubbish. We'll do it the other way. I think I generally keep things in here. Yes, I do. Yeah, that does double up good. Let's come over here and let's put that stuff into here. So, when I was going to some of the other moon dungeons, basically just for fun, I was picking up a few ender lily seeds in the, in the process. What's thing? That's interesting. You see that cobblestone keeps coming into here. And the reason for that is I set up a quarry and I've been sieving the moon dirt the so moon dirt when you sieve it gives you basically carbon because i ran out of carbon but i still run out of the mini carbons as it happens and it also gave me some uh stones these like that and they were they're basically being fed out of here and taken in and being processed into that so I wonder where they've gone through all that carbon. They can't have used it all up yet. Basically, it comes into here. It goes a little on the side of this. I've got a little export bus exporting cobblestone with a crafting card on it. So it basically takes everything out there. And that just gets imported as as before. So the end of the seeds, I planted them on some end stone over here. Although they're actually ready to harvest now, so I can right click these. I think not right click, and I have to break them. Okay, we have to break them. When you break these, you get always get back your lily seed. Sometimes you get another one. So in this case, we've got some more from the 
from the dungeons. So that's actually quite a good way of getting under pearls. But if there was some automatic farming. So I'll plant the others down here between episodes. And I want to finally show you this. This was my, I was also playing around. Didn't do too much between episodes, but this was one thing I did create. And that was a, another with it, a wither um, grinding place because I wasn't happy with the first one. And this one does seem to be okay. He's not getting out because I put an extra row of uh, witherproof obsidian outside it like this. And I could go inside, basically build it up and just put it down. And here I had some um, turrets. I've taken them out because I don't need them anymore. Because it was working, he wasn't getting out. And so if he got out, the turrets would kill him. So that was fine. And that worked actually quite well. So... Press the right button this time. I should put a label on my button, shouldn't I? So until next time, I wish you all the best and probably Happy New Year. So bye for now.